In Kerala, you will find the most parliamentary behavior in front of the liquor stores and the most unparliamentary behavior in the assembly. It's a joke, but there is a grain of truth in every joke. Customers standing patiently in serpentine queues to purchase liquor is a common sight in Kerala. Every festival season, new liquor sales records are created in the state. To celebrate the new year alone, Keralaites gulped down liquor worth Rs 96 crore. The Kerala government is greatly dependent on alcohol revenue to pay its bills. But how did things reach this level? Let's hear some interesting backstory about the alcohol economy in the southern state. 1970-71, liquor and lottery together contributed 14.77% of state's own revenue. Over the years, it has increased. In 1996, government of Kerala banned Arak. After the Arak ban, people were forced to consume costly liquor. That was the point from where the contribution of uh, liquor became very prominent. Mm -hmm. Now, if we look at the latest figures, liquor and lottery together contributes over 36% of uh, state's own revenue. The government-controlled Kerala State's Beverages Corporation, also known as Bevco, is entrusted with exclusive control over the procurement, wholesale and the retail sale of liquor in the state. The corporation was formed in 1984. In 2001, Bevco was entrusted with the majority of retail outlets for the sale of alcoholic beverages in Kerala. Today, the corporation has 23 warehouses and 266 retail outlets. Among them, only 95 outlets have self-service or premium counter facilities. Considering the size of the drinking population in the state, 266 is a small number. While the neighboring states such as Tamil Nadu and Karnataka have one liquor shop in every 15 square kilometers in urban areas, the figure for Kerala is one outlet per 100 square kilometers. Kerala's population density is 860 persons per square kilometer. Every Bevco outlet has to cater to the requirements of 86,000 to 1.25 lakh people. Alkare valare neeram kyu ni nu vaagunu kyu ni kumala alkare asusada onu alkare le programaya deshiyam angane ko irum bolado. Ibara joli na alkare ko mudhu tan. Namala samet jalam madhyam kari ko na alkare. Ado na mukko patanu rudu maata na onu bati lagaya na samet jalam. Ibara ta victoria ka nisijda kumbu alare di madhyam kari ko na alkare ne kaise. Since its inception, Beverages Corporation sales revenue has increased steadily and the corporation contributed massively to the state exchequer. Last year alone, it contributed Rupees 11,710 crore. Kerala follows prohibitive pricing in liquor sales. The idea is to raise tax on alcohol to reduce consumption. The liquor sales tax is almost 250%, which is the highest in India. In 2019, an RTI was filed asking for the differences between the purchase price and selling price of various brands. The RTI revealed staggering margins. For instance, a 750 ml bottle of Officer's Choice Rum with a factory price of Rs 61 costs the consumer Rs 650 or more after the various taxes and BEFCO profit margin. Remember, this is the 2019 price. The current price is even higher. I am not sure this is the this is the, the target. Actually, the intention of the government is to reduce consumption. But in the process, the government mobilizes substantial revenue through this penalty. Actually, the tax on liquor is a penalty. But after the Iraq ban, poor people were forced to consume high-cost liquor. And as a result, the, the burden, their, their 
quality of life has actually decreased. Beverage Corporation is surely the golden goose of the Kerala state government. But there is a big question whether it is offering decent services to its customers. Last year, the Kerala High Court slammed the state government and the Beverages Corporation over this issue. You seem to be selling your product not like a commodity, but like contraband, the court observed. It further said that it is the duty of the Beverages Corporation to make sure that sufficient facilities are given to their customers so that they can make their choice of purchase of liquor in a civilized manner like any other commodity and then leave the counters without their self-respect being compromised. The state of the actual state of the Bevco outlets remain very pathetic in Kerala. So uh, if you, uh, I, I would say that uh, the one thing that should be kept in mind is that these places are not gender neutral. Like uh, a woman accessing a liquor product from a Bevco uh, is still a distant dream in Kerala. Now it's, uh, and it should be kept in mind that Kerala has a substantial number of women who consume liquor. So uh, why can't a woman actually stand, uh, go to a Bevco outlet and because there is a uh, inherent fear that it's unsafe to uh, go near a, a Bevco outlet and that fear uh, should be kept in mind while uh, designing future policies for Bevco. It's high time that you uh, make these places accessible rather than shoddy and a very dingy kind of an atmosphere where uh, uh, you assume that a Bevco is related to uh, a place where a crime is possible in fact, something can happen there. The court's comments had forced the corporation to think about certain actions. It recently announced to open 190 more outlets in the state. Uh, high court uh, issue uh, take appeal on the uh, 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 certain number of shops uh, relocate in the parent uh, uh, relocate the chain of uh, shops are uh, walking type shops are uh, good ambient lighting and uh, self service counters. Anganatha or a model on it. Pinanipo, we have identified uh, around uh, uh, 70 80 shops which, which require. Uh, shifting also, but other the second uh, preference will come up first. High court in the list will learn. But any where the any Torkam or the shops and in a existing idol in a issues or the shops will be shifting to better premises with walk in facility where uh, the customers can buy uh, liquor with dignity. Political considerations have shaped the liquor trade in Kerala for decades, as experts pointed out. The state government's decisions on alcohol have resulted in a higher burden on the poorer sections of society. And all these years, the state has treated its liquor outlets as money spinners, but it failed to treat liquor customers with dignity. The irony at its best.